we are headed up to find the other part of the trail. We will see if we're successful or not. Probably it goes down there somewhere. So we will see if that's true or not. I'm quite happy that I got most of my heavy stuff out of my pack. I'm only carrying it just to have a place to put food and water. Is that the trail? Oh, we found the trail. I thought we had to. I thought we had to go past the visitor center, but apparently it's right there. These trails have been here all this time. We had no idea. We just hike right past them. That's what it says. Trail, blue marker. So we are headed down the mysterious final section of the blue trail. Looks pretty brushy. Maybe we need to spray again. We've gotten too many ticks and chiggers and it's starting to warm up a bit. So this trail is something and kind of on the side of the hill. There's the road up there and it's a little bit overgrown but pretty narrow which I like. I like the adventurous trails. I like it when it seems like it's a little precarious. But yeah, it looks a little nicer once we get down here. So cool, we'll find the last section of the trail and our mission will have been complete. I think we only missed a small portion of it earlier on. Time to spray for bugs. So we see one of these boundary markers. It says SPL 1937. I wonder what SPL means. I think we're on the side road um, that goes to the ranger residence. Yeah, there's the main road there. So now we have to figure out where the trail picks up. Maybe over there? What looks like an old road in the woods to the far, to the sharp left. We came down from the right down that hill and then we turned down this old road and we really didn't know for sure but then we finally saw a marker there. So we really have to be looking out. All right, so we came down that road, which is not clearly marked, but that is part of the blue trail. And there is a clear marker across the street here, where blue continues across. Well, we missed a section of the trail that goes along the shoreline of the blue trail. So we ended up walking on the road to bypass it. It's very clearly marked on this side how to get to that section, but we've already passed But This is the primitive car campground. We've stayed here before with the kids. They do have running water and um, outhouses. So tons of trees. You can hang your hammocks up. It's the second loop and up there is the outhouses. So anyway, if you come camping here, there's a nice beach and this is where the Trail picks up again. Okay, we're still on the blue trail and it's pretty poorly marked out here, although it's still pretty. If we weren't trying to get back to the car, we'd maybe stop at the water for a while. So we made it over all those down trees. It turned out that most of this is following a, an old road dug into the side of the hill here. So once you get past the blowdown, and you can kind of still see the road, but uh, this is a little bit easier to follow. Okay, we're going on the treacherous river crossing. Oh, it looks kind of dicey. Okay, I made it across there. Still on blue. Looking for our trail intersection. trees down in the trail kind of makes you feel like gotten lost and then you realize you just have to go over the tree found some sort of civilized trail making here <laughs> so if you were really doing the full 20 miles you keep going that way on the red and blue trail really all the loops start here three five and ten and 20 they all go this way and kind of overlap each other we did the southern end of the 20 mile blue trail so now we are going back up the hill interpretive center museum and back to our car 
thankfully we've been on this trail many times and we know that this one's pretty easy to follow. There's the water down there. And we are headed up, 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 and up. <laughs> Unfortunately, we already were up today. We already climbed this ridge from the other side. And then we wanted to finish the trail, so we went down. Now we gotta go back up again. We're walking back up to the interpretive center. It's really pretty. Up on a ridge top again. The green moss. All right, we got our last big push. We've been going kind of flat for a while, but we gotta climb up. I'm pretty tired. We're gonna go find Dairy Queen or something. But we think we did maybe 10 miles today. I think I was expecting that it was less. It's pretty hard to measure mileage on the map that they give you. Center and there's the trail, the end of our trail, probably usually the start of most trails. And we'll just hike down here and down the paved road a bit to the parking area. That's where we veered off earlier today after we stopped at the car. Oh, I mainly just feel like a coke right now. <laughs> Do I look like a Coke? I feel like a Coke. Do you look like a Coke? <laughs> we made it! We're back! Yay! <laughs> We're pretty tired. Now we can get in a nice comfy car and get some food and something to drink. And we'll be so happy.